Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kadeev Technologies. And in our video today, I'm going to talk about a tool called Copying Component and where I found a place it was very helpful in my own design that I was working on. So let's take a look. Here I have this chest of drawers that I'm working on, and I'm really looking at this piece of molding that I created right here. I spent some time modeling it up, but I found that I needed to use it on the sides over here where I'm indicating my cursor. Now, I could redraw it. I also could go into Windows Explorer, find the IPT that makes up this piece on the front, copy that, and re-import it in. But that's not really an easy way to go about it. So what's the easier way? I'm going to go to my tool here called Copying Component. I'll select that, and I can copy a component, a part, or an assembly, and create a new component based on existing geometry. I've selected my part, and here we can see I'm going to copy this one piece of molding here. Hitting Next, I'll go ahead and I'll enter my new aim, and notice that creates a new IPT. I also can do it by prefix and suffix, where I'm indicating right here, an increment. I can insert it in the assembly, or I could open it in an entirely new window. Now I want to reuse this in this assembly, so I'm going to go ahead and insert it here, and just hit OK. Once I hit OK, I can place it on the screen. Once the component is placed, I can go ahead and edit the part, and in this case I need to shorten it. I also need to remove one of the chamfers. But I can do that pretty quickly and easy. The majority of the work drawing the shape is done. So there it is, copy component, a nice quick way of taking an existing component and building a new one that's very similar without doing a lot of extra work. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.